Welcome to California Treasures, a kindergarten through sixth grade reading language arts program. The purpose of this video is to show how the kindergarten, first, and second grade writing curriculum build the foundation for process writing in the upper grades. Research shows that student reading comprehension and the quality of their writing are tightly linked. In fact, effective teachers look for ways to integrate reading and writing as often as possible because they know that each process reinforces the other and can lead to improved comprehension and retention of subject area content. Research also tells us that in the reciprocal nature of development and instruction, reading informs writing. Our authorship on our kindergarten through second grade writing program includes Dr. Timothy Shanahan, an author of the National Reading Report and California Common Core Standards Panelist, Dr. Adria Klein, co-author of Interactive Writing and Interactive Editing. Dr. Douglas Fisher, researcher of the gradual release model of teaching. And because vocabulary and writing are so tightly linked, Dr. Donald Baer, author of Words Their Way. And Dr. Jan Echevarria, who's done extensive research on the importance of oral language and how it transfers to writing. In grades kindergarten, first, and second. Writing lessons are organized weekly to start with shared writing, moving to interactive writing, and then independent writing. Let's see how that unfolds over the course of the week with a lesson from first grade. On day one, students look at a photo in their student edition. Since their goal this week is to write a sentence that focuses on what they like to do with friends, we're going to ask them to talk about it. What do you like doing with your friends? We're developing oral vocabulary and their ideas, which is definitely a proven technique for improving writing. There are even leveled sentence frames to make sure all students are involved. After that, the teacher models writing their ideas by making a list of all the things students said they like to play. We call this shared writing. On day two, we read a story that focuses on friends who like to play soccer together. This makes a connection for students. It's an example of how they'll focus their own writing on one thing they like to do. Next, day two's interactive writing lesson asks students to choose from the list that was generated yesterday and write with the support of a sentence frame. Here you see the development of writing. The picture is the idea. The words are applying letter knowledge and vocabulary word choice. On day three, Again, you'll really see the treasure's research of connecting reading and writing. Students will have one more opportunity to read another example from their student book, think about what they like to play one more time, and then it's their turn to write independently. They have a prompt and a checklist. Keep in mind, your teacher's edition builds in daily vocabulary lessons. Let's watch the shared, interactive, and independent writing with students from grades kindergarten, first, and second. Was there anything else that we wanted to add to this list? Yes, Caitlin. A nest. A nest. Birds build nests, don't they? We need to get a sentence to start with. Some birds are interesting because some birds are interesting because they look like Ethan. Sometimes they look like airplanes flying up in the sky. Sometimes they look like airplanes. So our first word's going to be mouse. So we're going to give a sentence about what mouse did in the story. What word would you put in this space right here? Lamaria? Um, the, the mouse into the cave. What did he do? Went. He went. Would you come right went up here for me? I say many people went on boats. Who were those people? What are we doing? We edit and revise. Okay. We, um, check for mistakes to make all this, the story better. Excellent. And what are we going to be using to do that? to help us a little bit with that. Writer's checklist. The writer's checklist, excellent. Read for me a little bit, okay? Hurricane Katrina struck in the year of 05. Many people went on boats, but their pets had to stay. 
Other independent writing activities include writing centers and a proven technique of writing to a picture prompt. We've seen that reading and writing go hand in hand every week, and every day provides lessons and words their way activities to increase vocabulary so that your students can find just the right words when they sit down to write. At the second grade, you'll see the same scaffolding for talking about their writing, reading literature, then connecting to their own writing, but you'll also find two important transitions in the writing lessons because students are starting to move from writing sentences to writing paragraphs. First, students will work through a more refined process each week. They focus and plan, pre-write, then complete a crucial skill lesson such as writing a topic sentence. The revision process includes editing and proofreading, and you'll see helpful tools for you and your writers like anchor papers and checklists. Last, the students then have the opportunity to publish and present. The second important transition students make is found in the Wonders Content Readers. After reading high interest articles like A Frog's Life, students connect to their writing. Here's an example. Our students read about the frog's lifespan, so we scaffold their writing here, providing the crucial signal or transition words then, next, soon, and finally. This is how we teach students about text structure and how to summarize in writing. All that we've seen lays the foundation for upper grade writing program, which uses the research-based techniques of the Writers Express. It provides very explicit, rigorous instruction in all forms, structure, and creative aspects of writing. Teachers told us that with rigorous California writing assessments, their students needed to practice and prepare. So, every sixth week, students will find a special section right in their student books called Show What You Know. The students read two passages and answer questions in CST format, but we also added a write-on-demand prompt to build writing stamina. The teacher's edition gives you explicit lessons to teach how to respond to a prompt, so let's watch one here. Write a summary of the story of the umbrella. It should be about five sentences. Write just the main ideas. Now, if that is your prompt, is the prompt asking you to write about something real or make-believe? Make-believe. Make-believe. Excellent. Because the story of the umbrella was make-believe. What clues in the prompt tell you what your writing should look like? Does something tell you what it should look like, Katrina? What does it say? Five sentences. Five sentences. So it tells you exactly, doesn't it? So when you read a prompt, you want to look to see that. Our California Progress Monitoring Assessments reflect what teachers asked for. Our writing portions of the assessment are formatted to get students comfortable with what they'll see when they have to write for standardized tests, checklists included. But we've also included something that teachers ask for, samples of student writing that show what a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 4 look like. These go with your explicit grading rubrics. And every assessment also includes multiple choice items on written conventions, for example, which sentence is a statement. Treasures provides you with the most comprehensive writing assessment. Our students have stories to tell and ideas to share. It's our job to develop those writing skills. There's one thing for sure. With California Treasures, you can unlock the treasures within.